Hello and welcome to Amsha Tech. We will explore in this video BAPI, which is very helpful in SAP ABAP programming, especially when the non SAP system wants to connect with the SAP system very easily. So, SAP provided some in, in a standard inter interface uh, just like a, a method which can be called from outside in the SAP system for accessing the data and processes of the SAP. Let's begin. Now, the BAPI is lies under the, uh, under the umbrella of business object. So what are business object? Business object type is the representation of a business entity like an employee or a sale order. In an SAP system, it compasses both the functionality in the form of method and the data in the form of attribute of this entity. It's mean the business entity, uh, the business object is a combination of is a combination of method and attribute of an entity. Uh, entity is uh, uh, you know entity is uh, any employee uh, sale order or uh, purchase. Uh, purchase order, purchase requisition, whatever the entity is, we can say in SAP it is a business object. So, in the uh, in the process, uh, in the uh, in the process, the implementation detail of the business object type are hidden from the end user, and the business object type is service access through defined function methods, BAPIs. This is reference as an encapsulation. Mean every uh, um, every entity, every business object can be uh, find can be accessed via some uh, defined functions uh, that is methods and BAP keys. And uh, all uh, the business object itself access through the uh, through these BAPIs. This is called an encapsulation. So in this way, in this way, we hide the uh, we hide the business logic from the data. If a non sap system wants some data, so it can it can get it uh, very easily. But uh, but uh, the non sap system will not uh, will not have the business logic which we are using. Uh, in our uh, business of SAP system. So the T code SW01 is used for exploring and uh, uh, the maintenance of business object. Now what is BAPI? BAPI uh, business object type and BAPIs uh, which is business application program interface enable access to SAP's function across formal, stable, and dialog-free interfaces. These interfaces can be used by external applications developed by customers as well as by other SAP ap application. Mean, these BAPIs enable, uh, enable the non-SAP system or, uh, or SAP system. To, uh, so, business object and BAPIs uh, enable ac enable access to SAP function across formal, stable, and dialog-free interface. So the non SAP system just have to use and implement the standard interface of SAP that is BAPI. So then it could uh, it could easily get all the data very easily and uh, and uh, produce their report or their any dashboard they can also display the SAP system uh, system data data into the non SAP system very easily by using the uh, business application programming interface that is BAPI BAPIs are defined as API method of SAP business object type mean uh, we have to go to the SAP business uh, business object and there we will define uh, an API method and under this API method we will define the BAPI name. We will do exercise later uh, in my coming videos. So stick to my channel. So the tool used for BAPI is uh, transaction BAPI. 
his sap name the uh, very very easy and very easy to learn the t code bappy bappy is used to maintain the uh, all the things reg uh, related to bappy these are a specific method for sap business object which are stored in the business object repository of the uh, sap system so uh, so bappies are the type of uh, are the are the form of method because it is totally uh, totally the object oriented programming uh, programming method so it all all the bappies lies under the business object uh, object repository system of the sap and a, and every method have some specific uh, business task mean every method have some uh, unique and separate uh, separate task so then if a non sap system have to perform some specific task uh, it could uh, easily find the particular method and then use uh, use the bappy which they want to uh, implement in the in their non sap system in the sap system bappies are bappies are stored as rfc capable function modules in the abap workbench function mod function builder bappies have a standard business interface that enable external application with help of sap business object to access sap processes functions and data in sap system bappies uh, you can also find um, the function builder uh, via function builder transition sc37 and uh, all the bappies start with the t uh, start with the standard name bapi and you can find uh, all, you can find them easily and also you can explore explore by using the transition bapi if you want to use a bappy to trigger a business process in other system you usually use the synchronous communication method as rfc because in most cases you want the data to be returned to the sending system so if a non sap system access the sap system and they want to uh, want a data um, data return to the send sending system so there we have to use the synchronous communication method that is srfc so uh, for example if a sales force want some uh, ex access sap system and do some transition or do some uh, so some amendment in the sap system so uh, we we can configure a bappy to automatically trigger and create some document or create some uh, intimation or create some um, uh, some message to the authority that the data has been changed that these these data has been changed and some decision have to uh, take from the management so in this way we can also use uh, srfc for uh, achieving this task for asynchronous communication using bappies ale is used you know ale is application link enabling is used with additional idoc interface being generated for the bappies so moving on this is a um, this is a uh, representation of how the bappy call and how the working of uh, bappy uh, doing uh, via transaction so uh, above the line there is a software system non sap system um, based uh, developed in the visual basic and below the line there is a sap abap rj system so um, the non sap system first have to log in and the uh, via credential sub supplied by the r3 sap and then call a bappy in the non sap system the bappy comes into the sap system and get it data and return all the data, data to the the required data to the non sap system after that a commit work uh, happened in uh, a commit work executed uh, in the sap system um, sap system so the after the commit the logging of uh, log, uh, logging of uh, uh, transition logging of steps uh, done and hence all the cycle of transferring and updating data uh, or reading data from the non sap system to sap system is done very easily by using the rfc session moving on 
uses and features of BAPI. BAPI are well defined internally consistent unit. This means all the BAPIs when you explore yourself by using the BAPI transition, you will find each and every BAPI is well defined. Everything, parameters, tables, import export parameters are well defined and well constructed so they can so, so can anyone can be easily uh, maintain it or anyone can be easily use it the business contents can be standardized all the things all the coding all the source code uh, which use in the BAPIs are very uh, standard standardized so it uh, that is why the performance and the uh, and the using and uh, the handling of BAPI is very easy number third BAPIs are becoming a communication standard between biz business system so uh, as as we discussed uh, previously the HTTP protocol and uh, COM, DCOM and COBRA uh, all the protocol are using uh, are, ex uh, are, uh, are using uh, BAPIs um, by the BAPIs so from the non SIP system so it is a communication standard nowadays stability and compatibility stability and compatibility mean uh, every BAPI uh, which uh, which uh, which what are what uh, the parameters and uh, no matter what the parameters no matter what the tables what the import export parameters and other things lying uh, in this the uh, when on upgradation of from one version to another version there will be no problem that is why uh, we can say that all the BAPIs are stable and compatible uh, for every uh, for every version in for every version and for every uh, every non SAP system openness BAPIs can be accessed from any uh, any widespread development platform it's mean uh, the BAPI can be used from Java platform can be used from Visual Basic uh, platform can be used from other uh, web platform so BAPIs are, are have the uh, have the feature of openness moving on overview of development process uh, it's mean that when we can also build our customized BAPI so uh, the process involve uh, the four step analysis design implementation and testing so the developer can can build their uh, the required logic by creating the customized BAPIs and use it uh, as per uh, same as standard BAPIs so we will discuss later in coming videos so stick to my channel I'm sure tech so then uh, we will uh, learn uh, many things by uh, regarding the BAPI moving on kinds of BAPIs there are mainly two kind of BAPIs instant method instance dependent and class method instance independent mean some BAPIs are instant dependent um, uh, and some BAPIs are instance independent instant dependent BAPIs use particular instance of the object which the application should specify in the key field of the business object mean it uh, uh, it uh, and those those BAPIs which uh, which find some particular or a specific document or some uh, some specific uh, record these are the uh, instance dependent and some BAPIs which don't uh, need some particular uh, some particular key value or some particular fields uh, key fields uh, some particular record so that are instance independent uh, BAPIs so for example says order dot get status will require the uh, sales document number um, in the import in the import parameter and it will return to the uh, and will return the sale order status uh, afterwards and uh, for and uh, the sale order go dot get list is an example of uh, instance independent BAPI or class method so then there will be no need of any um, input parameter or other thing it will return all the sale order uh, having uh, creating in the 
as if it's created in the SAP system. Moving on, types of BAPIs. So um, there are four types of uh, um, BAPIs which are mainly used. Uh, number one, we we use BAPIs for reading instances of SAP Business Object like get list, get detail, uh, and we use BAPIs that can create, change, or delete instances of a business object type. In some BAPIs, we use for for the transition purpose, uh, non-SAP system do transaction into the SAP system or SAP uh, itself uh, use BAPIs for creating or change or delete some instances of the uh, business object. So these are the BAPI of uh, for change or create or delete uh, instances. Number third is BAPIs for mass data processing. Um, for uh, like we uh, like we want to update uh, a thousand or five thousand record particular record uh, for to update uh, for some particular criteria so many BAPIs are already available in the SAP standard system so some BAPIs for uh, use uh, some BAPIs are exist for the replicating business object instances so in order to replicate in order to uh, create the same record or same uh, entities uh, but with the different name we there are some standard BAPIs exist in the SAP standard system uh, uh, to replicate or uh, create the same copied uh, copied one of entities into the another system or into the same system with different criteria so in order to do practical uh, first of all we have to go to the transaction we will do practical uh, afterwards in my coming video let's just uh, uh, just have a look uh, as a very uh, rapid look for all the main screens uh, as this is the screen of sw01 transaction for the business object here we find the purchase order dot get item get items method and then when double click of get item we go to the get item detail here we find and uh, the name of BAPI which is uh, BAPI underscore PO underscore get item when we double click on the name we go we go straight to the um, function modules um, uh, function module transition and here we find that this function module BAPI PO get items has a property remote enable module so it is it's mean that it is a RFC enable uh, enable BAPI or function module so and moving to the import parameter tab here we find that the purchase order is needed for uh, for getting the detail of items of the particular purchase order so that's all uh, for tonight let's meet into another interesting video uh, and if you like this video do click on the like button and uh, do, do subscribe to my channel so then you will have some more interesting or informative videos um, coming soon uh, till then bye bye take care